I guess the best part of the job is feeling a part of so many amazing records and projects that are worked on here um, and just being able to facilitate and play a small part in that. So Rack Studios was founded in 1976 by Mickey Most, who already had a publishing company and a record label at that point, and he was looking to sort of put all eggs in one basket and have a place for him to do all of the recording in-house. And so they found the building here on Charlbert Street in 1975 and moved everything over. And 1976 is when the doors opened for Studios One and Two. Rack's totally different, I think, from any other studio that I've been to. It's, it's very family orientated. It doesn't feel like you're walking into an office building, which some studios, the bigger studios, do. That's a very hard thing to pin down and get right. Rack just has that it's seeping out of the walls. Studios 1 to 4 all kind of serve different functions. Studios 1, 2 and 3 are all predominantly tracking rooms but they all have different areas which they sort of specialise in and different client bases that prefer them. They all serve a purpose as, as being great recording rooms. And Studio 4 was the one that didn't really have that much of a purpose. So we wanted this to be a great listening room, mixing room, writing room, and it very much made sense to put Atmos in here as well. So that's what the new Studio 4 is. We had to make it feel like Rack Studios. The previous studio, it certainly didn't have the same design ethos that flowed into the rest of the building. Emma told us that she wanted it to feel like part of Rack Studios. Level Acoustic Design is an acoustic architect. Um, we're generally hired to design studios and media production facilities. And our specialism is, is with acoustics and interiors. So the room before this, um, oh wow, it was completely different. It was meant to be sort of Mickey's personal studio. It was sort of all put together by one of Mickey's friends, actually. It was never designed to actually be a studio. The best course of action we decided was to pull it all out and start again. So the speaker configuration, we've gone for nine 8361s um, on the horizontal plane around us. We've got four 8351s on the ceiling. We've got two of the 7380s. We've got three of W371s we're supporting the front three speakers. And that enables us to do 9.14 for Atmos. And we can also do uh, Sony 360. If you see in the sweet spot, you should be able to localize all sources and the mix around the space. If you sit out of the sweet spot, you should still be immersed in the sound and the music. It's not necessarily true in all rooms, partially because of the way the room behaves and also because of the, the loudspeaker systems. Um, but, but what is noticeable with, with this system in this room is that there's a very smooth response throughout the room. Even at the, the back wall, there's very smooth bass response. I also need to mention the W371s in that regard that have a very smooth response right down to below sensible measurements. It was very important to Rack that the room didn't just work as an um, Atmos and an immersive room. It needed to work as an, just an amazing sounding stereo mix room and stereo writing room as well. And working in immersive, it does, it does give you that feeling. When you listen to a mono recording and then you listen to a good stereo sort of mix of it, it gives you that extra space and the feeling a bit more of like you're in it. And then immersive is of that times 10. It's listening to an immersive track, a really good immersive track, just makes you feel much more part of it. 
what you previously thought was a good stereo mix, it feels very flat all of a sudden after listening to this immersive mix. I mean, the response so far has been amazing. You turn the speakers on and play them something and it blows everyone away. The way that it's, this room has turned out is kind of what I wanted in my head, but, but better. The room sounds great, the speaker system sounds incredible. And it just, we love, we love it. I guess the secret to Rack's continued success is we do have absolutely fantastic recording studios with really great state-of-the-art and vintage equipment. Rack have always invested in the equipment and then also the team, like the people that Rack invest in. I think it's, it, it encourages clients to come back time and again because it's just such a nice environment in which to make a record. I mean, just I come in here just to watch movies because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs>